they were fine. And um, please follow us on Facebook um, as White Niger Girl, and please um, follow my special guest um, uh, Pauline on a on a Facebook page called Star Reaches Community Initiative. Because <laughs> I got to the so Star Reaches is one, but the other is Star Reaches Community Initiative. Oh, okay. What's the difference? Um, one is I stopped using the other one. I do most of the work because it's now a community based. Um, work really so you actually want the other one more yes yeah yes. okay so the star reaches community um initiative initiative yeah we live okay so uh hello dear viewers uh this is white niger girl and uh you are watching wng show tonight tonight now because um i do apologize we wanted to start the show at 5 p.m uh, but we had some technical issues and um so you are watching PANAF TV at the moment, and we are in Manchester, um, in the West Indies Community Centre. And um, um, the West Indies Community Sp Centre is sponsoring us um, on this show. If you would like to sponsor the show, uh, please get in touch. And uh, so today's topic is how to raise high achieving children. And I've got my special guest here today. Um, the author of the uh, Surpass Every Expectation, uh, a speaker, an educator, a life coach for children, and an academic strategist, uh, Pauline Lehman. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. Thank you, Michelle. It's a real pleasure to be on the show with you today. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much. So, um, yeah, um, today um, we are going to tackle a topic that is... Um, um, a lot of my viewers actually ask for this topic. It's something that uh, parents would like to know about. How to um, motivate our children to, uh, to do well at school. Uh, before we get to the main topic, though, I would like to just ask you, Pauline, uh, please tell the viewers about your background. Why are you so passionate about education? Okay, yes, thanks, Emesha. It's a real, real pleasure again to uh, be with you on today's show. Yes, my name is Pauline Lehman, um, and you've introduced me already. How did it all start? I've been in education for 13 years. I used to be a science teacher, and while in education, I realized that a lot of children of all abilities, from high, middle, low abilities, uh, groups were not achieving their potential. It means they were not doing as well as they were capable of. Mm -hmm. uh, of performing in school and so I was very very concerned especially that um, educational reports also said that black children have been underachieving mm -hmm. since the 70s it's been a historical problem and that really concerned me because I felt that all children have got equal ability I don't think your ability is determined by your race or by your socioeconomic background and so on. So for me, that was a real concern that some children went through school without fulfilling their potential. And from where, you know, where we come from, education is, is really, really important. We value education. We know it is uh, the pathway, you know, to opportunity, to social, upward social mobility and relief from poverty and I felt children going through school without fulfilling their potential was a bit like a waste of waste of time, waste of potential and, and so that is what led to me really starting to support parents to help them understand the structure of the educational system, to help them understand how they can actually support their children's studies so that they can fulfill their potential. Mm -hmm. And research has proven over and over again that children are best placed to succeed in school when parents are actively involved in their studies. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, uh, parents and parents do not really understand that and for those parents who actually do understand that they don't know how to effectively support their, their children's education so that they can do really well in school. Mm -hmm. So that is what led to, uh, to this work that I do. Yeah, so that, that is called Star Reaches. So t tell us about Star Reaches and where we can find you. There. Okay, yes, Star Reaches Community Initiative is therefore 
um, a community organization that I set up to be able to reach out. Our mission really is to raise aspirations for young black people, um, is to break the cycle of black people on their achievements and promote the well-being of uh, black and you know, minority mm -hmm. ethnic children and their families in this country. So yes, so I've got a Facebook page called uh, facebook.com forward slash SCRI, that's all in uppercase, 2016. So that's the Facebook page. If you want to like the page, I do do uh, Facebook Lives where we share tips and hints for parents. So if you want to follow something that you're really passionate about, helping your, ch your child, sorry, then you can go and, and like my page. I've also got a website, or two websites actually. There is starrichers.co.uk and then there is starrichers.communityinitiative.org mm -hmm. and that is where, that's a platform for the work to do with the community. Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So please uh, don't forget to follow the page, as uh, as Pauline rightly said. And of course, um, if you just tuned in, I really appreciate you having um, having you on the show. And please don't forget to like the Panaf TV page. Um, so you, you get notifications for future shows as well. And of course, if you, um, if you just logged into this video today, then uh, you can share it as well so other people can watch it and we would like to reach as many po people as possible. A lot of parents would like to know about um, uh, these things and we're going to get a lot of uh, practical tips as well today. Um, okay, so, um, so you, you mentioned about your background and... Um, and also what the Star Riches, com um, Star Riches Community uh, Initiative is. Yeah. Uh, but um, uh, we would like to know about your book that you've, um, you've brought today as well. Okay. Uh, so please tell us about this book and um, why is it uh, really useful to read it? Okay. So yes, um, Surpass Every Expectation is um, a book that was published last January um, 2016. And I wrote this book because I felt that parents needed a manual. They needed, a, it, it's not just a book that you read and put aside. It's actually a book that is full of instructions, um, easy to follow instructions that parents can use to support their children's education, not just ed their education, but to help parents raise children that are conf confident and happy whose innate talents and potential are get fully manifested. So it is to do with the holistic development of the child. Mm -hmm. So so that's right. the book and it's available on, on Amazon. Mm -hmm. If you want to grab a copy on Amazon, that is absolutely fine. But you can get it on my website as well. So you've got the ebook and then you've got the There is an e ebook copy and then you could get this. You could get both anyway on Amazon and on my website, starrichards.co.uk, you could actually get a copy from there mm -hmm. too. Okay, so let's get to those, uh, those instructions and uh, practical tips. I'm, I'm sure that a lot of people would like to know about it. So what can we do to, um, to motivate our children to do well at school? Okay, that's a very, very good question because in my time of working with teenagers, I taught in secondary school, my time of working with teenagers, uh, one of the reasons that I've, I, I saw that makes children not to achieve their full potential was a lack of motivation. They really didn't necessarily understand why they should be studying all the subjects they were studying. Some had other interests and they didn't really want to be there. Some mm -hmm. wanted to just go straight on to whatever it is they're passionate about. Mm -hmm. And so they were not very, very motivated. Mm -hmm. So yes, that is a big, big problem. So how can we motivate our children to love education? Now I've got a, a WE system, W-E-E -E system, that I'll quickly share. Um, it, I can talk about this for an hour, but I'm gonna really be brief on this. And if mm -hmm. people want to find out more, just keep following me, I'll share a bit more at a later point. So we say, uh, the W stands for why. The first thing is, does your child know why they need to do well in school? Does your child know why they need to be in school? I take the example of us adults. Why do you wake up in the morning and go to work? Some people wake up and start to, to travel 
from 5.30 a.m. to get to work on time. Why? What motivates them? They have a reason. They want mm -hmm. to be able to earn a salary. They don't want to lose their job. Or build a career or, or that different th reason. They want to build a career. They want to have money at the end of the day to pay their bills and be able to support their children. So they, there is a strong why. Mm -hmm. So our children need to understand the why. What will education do for them? Mm -hmm. A lot of children, sometimes these are things that as adults we take for granted. But a lot of children, children don't think like adults. And a lot of them don't really know why they need to be going to school. Mm -hmm. And for parents watching, I'm sure your children have, would have told you one day, you know, on the morning when they're tired, why do I need to go to school, mom? Let's just let me sleep. So it is not uncommon for children to ask such questions. So help your child discover the why. Why do they need to be in school? Let them understand the benefits of education. Mm -hmm. You could help them to show them people in your surroundings or find people around you uh, that can actually uh, help you or help them to see how a good education can actually help somebody mm -hmm. live a, a better lifestyle, relieve them from poverty. And there are lots of examples around us. So children need to understand why they need to be in school. They need to understand why they need to get good grades. Mm -hmm. And that is, again, as I said, I could talk about this for uh, a whole hour. Right. <laughs> so the E is uh, we need to expose our children. Again, we take it for granted that children go to school and so they understand the benefits. So let's expose them, as I said before, to people who have been successful in careers. Now, the media, unfortunately, showcases people that are successful in developing talents. Mm -hmm. The musicians, the artists, yeah. the footballers, and all of that. It doesn't showcase... It's show business, isn't it? Show so. business, entertainment. It doesn't entertainment. actually showcase people that have made amazing progress in careers. Mm -hmm. Now, when I look at Barack Obama, raised by a single mother, it's education that took him to where he is today. That's and right. a lot of examples around us. So let's expose our children to role models. Mm -hmm. As a parent, look for role models. You may not have them in your closest vicinity. You need to go out there and look for role models. We need to look for mentors as parents for our children because as parents, we, 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 say, we tell our kids so many things. We give them lots of advice and sometimes it's like they're hearing the same thing over and over again, but exposing them to another mentor, to someone else, who will repeat the same message to them. Sometimes clicks and that's just what mm -hmm. they need. So let's expose them to mentors. Let's expose them to the opportunities out there. Let's take them to really, you know, elite universities. Let them see the quality of the university, the quality of the education going in there. Mm -hmm. Let's expose them to things that will stir up their desire to want to succeed. And build the motivation for them. And basically. build the motivation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is really powerful in building the motivation. Mm -hmm. Now, the last E is encouragement. If you're going right. to help your child to achieve, to maximize their potential in school. They need encouragement because our children are surrounded. We live in a negative world, as we know. And they're surrounded by negativity from the media. It could be from their peers. It could be from the teachers. There is a lot of negativity out there. Even the cartoons are telling you, it's okay to be lazy. It's okay to do nothing. So It's all, okay to call your parents silly. It's that's... okay to say silly <laughs> to your parents. Absolutely, Amesha. So our children are bombarded continuously by that negative message. Mm -hmm. And we as parents are meant to be the number one motivators for our children. Mm -hmm. And so we need to encourage the little steps. Yes, you want your child to become an A-star student. It may not happen overnight. You may be taking them from a D grade to a C grade. The little efforts they make, even if they just get five marks over what, above what they got last time, Encourage them for that. Help them to believe in themselves. Our children need to be constantly motivated. Let's know the things that they like. And let's reward them when they make little effort, little steps. And that is really key. So those are the three I'm going to share today. Again, I do talk about that. It's a whole chapter in my book. Yes, and, sir. you know, if you want to get more please get a copy of my book. And of course, your, uh, your Facebook page as well, because I know that yes. um, uh, Pauline is uh, making regular Facebook Live videos. Yes. So 
make sure you follow her page and uh, you can watch all these videos. They're coming quite regularly every week. Yes, it's, so. um, yeah. I, I do them at 9 p.m. every Sunday when the kids have gone to bed so parents can focus. <laughs> yeah, so that's yes. the perfect time to, uh, to learn something uh, you know, at the end of the week. And... Um, of course, um, um, please, I do encourage you to share this video. Um, we would like to get this message across to as many parents as possible out there. Mm. So please uh, share the video and like the PANAF TV Facebook page as well, so, we, uh, so you get notifications for uh, future shows as well. Um, I myself, I have my own Facebook page, White Niger Girl, and uh, you can, of course, like that page and, um, and uh, you can check out my background over there. And um, um, you can uh, read my blog as well, which is called whitenagergirl.com. Okay, um, I know that, um, um, that there was a question that I really wanted to discuss today, and that was my question, is yeah. mainly how to develop the love uh, for books. Uh, it's, it's just uh, because I've got uh, a four years old and um, I noticed that he loves art. He's, mm -hmm. He makes things with his uh, hand. Mm -hmm. But I would like to encourage him to read books, and uh, because he's just learning to read, yeah. obviously it's a bit, a bit more effort than mm -hmm. you know than, than for us. And and um, yeah, so I, I would like to find out like how to actually develop um, the motivation for him to sit down and, and try and read. Okay, awesome, awesome. That is a very good question as well that you have asked, um, and I think it's really important because reading is such an important thing. For children, it's one of the most important predictors of future academic success. So children mm -hmm. will start to read and will love to read. Someone says readers are leaders. I'm sure you've heard that. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So reading is one of the most important predictors of future academic success. So a child who starts to read is very likely to do well in school. Reading mm -hmm. improves uh, research our studies have shown that reading improves a child's IQ. It just opens up their minds. Now imagine the wealth of experiences out there. Mm -hmm. We can't take our children to all the parts of the world to have different experiences, but we can bring that experience into our homes through books. Through yeah. books. So it opens their minds. It takes them to places that they may never get to um, in, in their lifetime, mm -hmm. or it helps them experience, experience different cultures, different lifestyles, and so on. Helps develop their critical think, thinking, their comprehension skills, which is a big, big problem in education. So let me just leave that and answer your question now. Mm -hmm. You see, it's something I'm passionate about, and I just tend to go <laughs> on and on and on. So how can you help um, your child to learn to read? Yeah. Now, the first thing I would say is that for some children, it might not be something that excites them. Mm -hmm. it's, we need to start early with them. We need to get, you know, even from the time they are going from six months to one year, they need to be opening books mm -hmm. and just be looking at pictures and you talk to them about the pictures. And then as they start to understand more, we can start, start to read to them. And when they start to read, we encourage them to read. It's about doing it consistently, like mm -hmm. anything else consistency is important. Now, in some cases, it might be important as a family to set a time for reading. So you want to encourage a child who really doesn't like mm -hmm. reading. Okay, you want to take them from there to the point where they start to read. To read. A lot of things are done as easily done as a family. Mm -hmm. So you could say, okay, from 6.30 to 7, it's family reading time. There's no TV on. Uh, there is no music on, there is no distraction. Mom is reading, dad is reading, everyone is reading. Mm -hmm. Yes? So we do that repeatedly. It becomes a habit. It becomes a habit. Yes, because exactly. research shows that anything you do consistently for 21 days becomes a habit. So that is the very first thing we can do. The second thing we can do then is a reward system. Mm -hmm. You know, children love rewards and they would go out of their way to ensure that they get the reward. So let's have a reward system. Each day the child reads independently, have a chart, and let them put a card, a sticker. And you everybody know, loves a sticker. And by the time they build up seven stickers, come up the reward. By the end mm -hmm. of this week, if you read every day independently, so you're moving from reading with mommy to becoming an independent reader, mm -hmm. then you will have a treat or something that they really like. So that is a good one as well. And also, most especially, we as parents need to be reading. We are our children's most important 
role models? Do they see us reading? Or do we spend all our time on our mobile phones? Or do we spend our time in front of the TV? Or do we spend our time listening to music and doing something else? There's nothing wrong with all of that. But mm -hmm. for a child, it's important that they see that there is time for everything. So we're not spending endless time in front of TV. Mm -hmm. We watch for 30 minutes, and then we do something else for 30 minutes. So like you said, your son loves craft. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. I do encourage parents to get children into a range of activities because all of these have a way of improving their, their, their holistic skills. Mm -hmm. Yes? So let them have time for craft work and then have time for reading. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so they need to be seeing us reading and they need to see us being excited about it. So you, you share with them what you read. Oh my God, I learned something new today. I read this. Can you imagine? This is exciting. And when I sit down with my, from the time I started reading, I, when I read her books, I am excited and I let her know I'm learning so much from it. So the child knows that learning is a lifelong process. We never stop learning. And we can learn a lot from books. Oh, I'm learning this. I never knew that. And when we come across new words, we get the dictionary out. We look at it and we're learning together. Mm -hmm. That way, the children develop the love for learning. Oh, thank you so much. I think I'm going to definitely implement these, these tips. I already know that, uh, you know, what I'm going to do from tonight <laughs> if you're, my son is listening. So uh, make sure that you will be available at half six. No TV, no music. Great. Um, I would like to um, hear what people think about it, and uh, I would like to take the opportunity now to share this video with you. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to go on the page, and then, of course, you can do that as, as well. well yeah. um, so um, uh, first of all, I'm just going to share the video, and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment, and um, we will try and uh, answer some of your questions. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to uh, share that um, to my profile and maybe even to my page as well. I'm just trying to see if I can okay. share it too. Um, um, so if you go to um, the Panafiri in a post, let's see. Okay, mm. and then I'll we'll see if we have any comments. So we do have a comment, let me see. Right, okay, so we have um, uh, King John Look uh, says, nice, thanks so much for your encouragement. Um, so if you have any questions, please uh, uh, please ask questions so we stay alive for uh, for a little while. And uh, so we, we, we already discussed today uh, how to motivate our children to do well at school, um, how to develop the, the love of books. And we talked about uh, Pauline's um, book as well. That is like an instruction book for uh, most parents. Um, it's not a book, as, uh, as she said, that you put away. It's something that you can, you can use on a daily basis. Um, you can find great tips there how to help your child to achieve um, um, great academic success. Okay, um, so um, I would like to just... Um, Maybe just um, just one more question for today, and then we'll see if you have any more comments. Okay. Um, so if you could give us uh, some more uh, tips on on how to what uh, what other things we can do as parents to to know, uh, you know to um, to raise high achieving children, and uh, and then we we'll see if you have any more questions for today. Okay. okay so the uh, the last tip, the many tips, but the last we're going to share <laughs> because we're almost at the end of the show, isn't yes. it? Is be involved. Okay, uh, when I talk about being involved, it's not just saying, okay, just go do your work and, and leave it at that. Mm -hmm. You want to find out how was the school day? What did you learn at school today? Did you understand it? And if they didn't understand it, can you help them? Can you mm -hmm. seek for the help? Okay, you want to find out um, whether they've got a test so you can support them just to get them to become self-reliant student or children sorry i keep saying students because i used to be a teacher so just <laughs> yeah. so that they become self-reliant uh, children mm -hmm. it doesn't happen by mistake we've got to be very very strategic so we've got to, it may 
require you as a parent to sit down with your child and actually support them. Mm -hmm. Some children may start by struggling to actually sit down on their own to do work. So you, by you sitting down there, it is a source of encouragement for them. Mm -hmm. And so they don't get discouraged or don't get bored. Involved. Okay. Uh, when I talk about being involved, it's not just saying, okay, just go do your work and, and leave it at that. Mm -hmm. You want to find out how was the school day? What did you learn at did you understand it? And if they didn't understand it, can you help them? Can you mm -hmm. seek for the help? Okay, you want to find out um, whether they've got a test so you can support them just to get them to become self-reliant student or children. Sorry, I keep saying students because I used to be a teacher. <laughs> so just yeah. so that they become self-reliant uh, children. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen. Very strategic. So we've got a may require you as a parent to sit down with your child and actually support them. Mm -hmm. Some children may start by struggling to actually sit down on their own to do It is a source of encouragement for them, mm -hmm. and so they don't get discouraged or don't get bored. Involved. Okay, uh, when I talk about being involved, it's not just saying, okay, just go do your work and, and leave it at that. Mm -hmm. You want to find out how was the school day, what did you learn at did you understand it? And if they didn't understand it, can you help them? Can you mm -hmm. seek for the help? Um, whether they've got a test so you can support them just to get them to become self-reliant student or children. Sorry, I keep saying students because I used to be a teacher. <laughs> so just yeah. so that they become self-reliant uh, children, mm -hmm. it doesn't happen very strategic. So we've got, it may require you as a parent to sit down with your child and actually support them. Mm -hmm. Some children may start by struggling to actually sit down on their own to do. It is a source of encouragement.